Hello my friends, Stephanie here and I'm back with more movie chatter. And what I have for you today is my review of the new 4K Ultra HD release for Stanley Kubrick's Full Metal Jacket. And this one was sent over to me uh, by Warner Brothers for a review so I can let you guys know what I think and if I think it's worth an upgrade. So I want to thank Warner Brothers for sending this over to me so I could check it out and uh, make this video for you guys. Now this is a film that was released in 1987 and I'm assuming most of you, if you're here to see this video, have seen it. If you haven't seen Full Metal Jacket, I highly recommend that you change that right now because this is one of my favorite war movies of all time. It's definitely in my top five, maybe even in the top three. And it centers around the Vietnam War. And like I said, uh, it's from 1987, so it's over 30 years old. But let me tell you, when I watched this the other day, it holds up. It could. This movie could have been shot in the last five years. It really, really holds up. It, do, it really has aged well. So kudos to, to the movie for that. Now, the way I do my 4K reviews, if you didn't see my last set of uh, reviews, um, I uh, because this does not have a Dolby Atmos track, it's a 5.1 track, um, I use my upstairs setup, which is a 55-inch LG OLED C9 TV, and then I have a standalone 4K player, which is a Panasonic UB820, and it has an HDR toggle, so if you want to mess around with the brightness or different things like that, you can toggle through the different settings. I think there's four settings. I always leave mine on standard, so for review purposes, I don't change anything about it. I just put the review movie in just like I would watch any other movie because I think that's the most honest and fair way to do it. And I did the same thing with this one. And also, I just want to add that I am not like a tech type person as far as getting into all the technical aspects of the movie. What I want to know is, I'm a consumer, I want to know, does it look good, does it sound good? Because that's what makes it worth it for me, and it has to be a good movie, which this is a fantastic movie. So now we're down to, does it look good, does it sound good? And the interesting thing about this movie is it's, it's very unique in a lot of ways, but in one way in particular is that it's really feels like it's two movies wound into one and they're held together by the common thread of the Vietnam War. But the first act of the movie centers all around the training and the second act is all about when they go to Vietnam. And this makes a difference in how you experience the 4K. Because in the beginning when you have them in the, uh, the training, they're in basic training, it's a very bland color palette. So what you have is you have, they're in the olive green um, uniforms, they're in sweatshirts when they're running, when they go to bed at night, they're in a white t-shirt, white boxers. The barracks are a lot of grays and light blues and white and all very, very bland. And you have the fluorescent lighting in the barracks. So even when they're outside, there's not a lot of color outside because there's some training montages, but you figure if you have a person in a full green uniform standing against green grass, I mean, where's that separation, right? It's kind of monochromatic. So you don't have those that wow factor because there's no real color popping that's going on. And it's not to say that it looked bad because it was definitely sharp. The images look good. Everything looked good. But in the spirit of full transparency, I have to tell you that about 20 minutes in, uh, to the to the movie, I did pause it to make sure that I hadn't mistakenly put the Blu-ray in because I was looking for that wow factor that you get when you have a really awesome 4K experience and it just wasn't there uh, because of the source material. It's just a very bland looking, uh, from a color standpoint, a very bland looking movie and that definitely carried over into the, the 4K. Now, where this movie really shines and the 4K really shines is in the second part of the movie when they do go to Vietnam because you have figure you have street scenes where you have people in different kinds of clothes, clothing, you have cars, you have little mopeds going by, you have street signs, um, you have explosions, sunrises, sunsets, you have different people in different outfits, you have all kinds of gunfire, you have buildings, there's so much more to work with. And that's where this 4K really, really came alive. And I thought the second half of this movie looked amazing. The whole movie looks better. This is the best it's ever looked, but it really, really blew me away in the second half of the movie. So if you're wondering, is it worth an upgrade? I would have to say yes, 
for me personally, um, but th that has to be a decision that you make. As far as special features, you're not getting anything new uh, uh, in the 4K that you didn't already have because everything was ported over from the previous Blu-ray. Now, if you're coming from DVD, this is going to be a massive upgrade. If you're if you don't own it at all and you want to get the Blu-ray and the 4K, this is a, this is definitely the way to go. Even if you don't have 4K capabilities and you're a person who future proofs you're going to have a great Blu-ray experience and like I said the 4K looks the best it's ever looked but if you look at that first half of the movie it's a more incremental upgrade but still a bit of an upgrade so I would say all around I thought this looked really really good and you know just consider the source when you're looking at that um, that first half of the movie and as far as the sound like I said it's a 5.1 they didn't do any Dolby Atmos uh, the first half of the movie, especially with Arlie uh, Ermey's fantastic performance, your uh, it's a very dialogue-driven first half of the movie, so your center channel is going to get a heck of a workout. And uh, it was perfect, very clear, very sharp, very good. And um, even in the second half when there's a lot of gunfire and explosions and everything that goes on in the Vietnam part, um, it's not a big surround sound movie like the rear channels don't get a ton of sound but that was true in the blu-ray as well it's really your front three speakers that are getting the biggest workout throughout this whole movie so that's you know that's not going to be any difference between the blu-ray or the 4k so just keep that in mind if you're someone who's really uh, an audit uh, into sound um, so those are my thoughts on the 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 4k uh, upgrade of full metal jacket uh, I think this is one of those times when it makes 4K a little bit tricky because you're you're going for that small upgrade to get the best version of the movie that you can get. So if you're like me, you would probably run out and buy it on release day, which is September 22nd, um, or if you want to wait and wait for the you know if you want to wait for the price drop, the, like a Black Friday deal or something like that. You know, you're not going to lose much by waiting another, what, month and a half, two months to, to wait for a price drop. So it's really a personal decision and how you want to build your collection. But I love this movie, so of course I want to have the absolute best version of it, even if it's a smaller upgrade. But the, the second half of this movie will definitely, it will blow you away visually. It's stunning. So um, those are my thoughts on uh, uh, Full Metal Jacket. And this is the standard slip release that they sent me. So that's the cover art and I think it's very cool cover art it's very very fitting for the movie you have the same cover art inside now it does come with a digital copy I removed it obviously so that I could show you the discs they're just plain discs you have a silver uh, blu-ray and a black 4k so there's no disc guard or anything like that so very standard looking release um, I do know that Best Buy is doing a steelbook variant so if you're a steelbook person, the steelbook, uh, it looks pretty cool. So you might want to check that out. I don't know if there's any other um, retailer special releases. I just know about the, the steelbook from Best Buy. So um, so that's my, those are my thoughts on uh, Full Metal Jacket. And, uh, you know, I liked it. I think it's a go. I would buy it. So uh, like I said, it's really up to you guys. So that's it for today and uh, I want to thank you guys as always for watching. I hope you found this somewhat helpful in making your decision on whether to, to buy this or not. Um, if you enjoyed this, please give me a thumbs up, leave me some comments, suggestions, recommendations, hit the notification bell and the subscribe button so you'll know when I upload again. And uh, I'm going to upload again later on in the week. I have some fun stuff planned for you guys. But uh, that's going to do it for today. So I hope everyone is safe and well. I'm going to catch you on the next one. And for now, that's a wrap.